Hi, I'm at uh, Castle. I'm at in Slovakia at a castle called Spiški Hrad. It's, I think, one of the largest or the largest castle ruins in Europe. And I, I just getting out and enjoying the perfectly clear blue sky and thought I'd stop here for, for a video. And I want to talk about health. I think everyone has heard um, about spiritual people or religious people who claim not to need modern medicine, who God heals them. And to a scientific person, this sounds ridiculous because it sounds like they don't want to do anything. They just think that magically it's going to happen. There's some magic involved. And I wanted to um, kind of, you know, suggest or, or I guess mention the obvious point that they don't mean do nothing, right? They mean they have a spiritual practice, which is definitely um, not only doing but being, a state of being that, that allows for perfect health. So... Let's look at this, and, I'll, and you know, I'm, I'm one of these people that have learned uh, for the past four years, I really haven't been ill. Um, and before that, I was, I was constantly stressed, you know, to, like everyone, on a normal level. I would wake up at night kind of panicking about tomorrow and about certain fears in the future and things like this. And I would regularly get sick. Every two months, I'd be pretty sick on average. I would have coughs, I'd have fevers, I'd have, you know, days or even weeks of illness that just would come whenever I would get exposed to something. Oh God, I'm going to get sick. And then I did. And then I, I, I started meditating. And that was the biggest um, transition for me. Since I started meditating, I really haven't gotten sick. Excuse me. I think there's a reason for that. And the reason is that meditation teaches you to observe your thoughts, to not follow every train of thought. And so what you might say, well, you know, as you do this, you learn to observe negative thoughts, thoughts of fear, you know, worry, anxious thoughts of fear. And as you can observe thoughts, learn to let them go through meditation, you can learn to let go of those thoughts of fear, you know, so, you, so you're minimizing your stress. Stress is the cause of illness. A person who's not stressed is able to be exposed to the same germs as everybody else, but they don't get sick. You can kiss someone who's sick and you won't get sick. It's about your level of, you know, are you centered? Are you in the middle of the wheel? Or are you stressed? And, you know, as meditation may be enough, I don't know. But for me, it also required a little bit more spiritual um, learning. Um, I have a spiritual practice every day where I read Course in Miracles or Eckhart Tolle or Wayne Dyer or uh, Dao De Jing. Uh, you know, I alternate between these materials. And I also write a post every day at abscondo.com about this. If you want to just bottle that, it might do you some good as far as helping you become healthier and, and, and minimizing stress. And by the way, minimizing stress is just, it's just, it's living in a state of joy. It's not like you have to do this as some sacrifice, right? I'm talking about feeling good all the time. So, you know, you don't have to worry about getting sick. You're not going to get sick unless you're overly tired, you're stressed out, you're not feeling good. And that comes only through when your mind is feeding you too many thoughts of fear. Because fear leads to negative emotion. When you have a fearful or anxious thought, your body reacts with negative emotion. And that negative emotion makes you feel lousy, and then your mind also has more and more negative thoughts, and it's a, it's a, it's a feedback loop, it's a downward spiral. And the only way to end it, the only way to, to become sane and happy and joyful is to end fear. And the way to do that the only the, the cure to fear. There's only one cure for fear, which is love. A Course in Miracles it teaches you everything you need to know about ending fear through aligning with love. You can also check my posts daily and, and my talks and things like that. But you know, what is there to be afraid of? Fear is is almost saying that there's something in this world that is real that's going to get us. And it does seem that way and it feels that way. But there's something else going on. There, you, you exist in this massive, infinite universe on this, in this sphere, this planet. And how are we safe at all? How are we, how are we alive? How do, how do we get through a life at all? You know, how do we exist at all? How does everything balance so perfectly? There's, there's, you know, how, are you, how do you feel not safe? What is there to be fearful of? And furthermore, if you understand that your identity is not, you know, your mind is not your body, it's your soul, it's your invisible realm, it's the consciousness, you're, you're observing this body, observing these thoughts, observing this world around. And as you identify as consciousness, consciousness cannot be threatened. 
Nothing can come and beat up consciousness because it's invisible. What's invisible cannot change and cannot be threatened. And that's the peace of God. And when you align with, with this knowing that's beyond any scientific proof, it just is. That's spiritually awakening. And, you know, that will end fear and that will end illness. And I want you to, to you know, suspend disbelief. Give it a try for yourself. It worked for me. I've been, you know, four years I've been happy and joyful and healthy. And there's no downside to it. Just a short daily practice. It's kind of wonderful. <laughs> Thanks for, for joining me. I'll do a lot more. I'm going to do a lot more of these of these videos, these 360. You can look around or you can spin your phone around and see the views on this beautiful March day in Slovakia. This is under, and we're under a state of emergency right now, by the way, the coronavirus. So, yeah, there's that. Thank you for, for watching.